Hi, in this video, we're going to get Doubler 2 set up with Logic Pro. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that the Doubler app is open and that you followed the audio setup wizard to calibrate your mic and audio output. Once that's done, you can head into a profile. And what we're going to do here is turn off Doubler's inbuilt audio. As we're just going to be hearing the sounds and synths within Logic, we want to make sure that we're not hearing Doubler's synths at the same time. So make sure the inbuilt audio is turned off in the bottom right. Once that's done, we can now head over to Logic. So first we want to go to the Preferences in the top left and go to MIDI. Here in the MIDI section of the Preferences we can go to the Inputs tab and we want to make sure that Doubler 2 is ticked. After this, head back to the General tab and make sure that MIDI Remote is set to On so that we can use the control dials in Doubler and we also want our MIDI channel to be per channel strip so that we can separate the pitch and the triggers. After this, we can head to the audio section of the preferences, select the usual output device that you want to use, and make sure that your buffer size is set to one to eight samples or below to reduce any latency. Once that's done, you can hit apply, and then we can exit the preferences. So now all our settings are sorted, it's time to set up Doubler properly to start making some music. So let's first take a look at how to control drums or samples in Logic. So in order to do that, we first need to train some triggers in the Doubler app. If you need, we have a more in-depth video that guides you through how to train triggers, but I'm just going to quickly add a few now. So I'm going to hit the plus button to add the first trigger and record some takes. And then add a couple more. So now we can use these three triggers I've just trained to control three different drums or samples in Logic. So in Logic, you want to have a track that has either Drum Machine Designer or another plugin that has multiple samples on it. So you can select that from the library on the left. Here, I've just got this 808 Flex kit here with a few different samples in. Now on this track, we want to go to the section here and from the MIDI imports, we want to uh, select Doubler 2. And then below that, we can also select the MIDI channel that we want to receive information from. So by default, channel 1 receives MIDI information from the pitch side of Doubler, so that's singing and for melodies. And channel 10 receives MIDI information from the trigger side of Doubler, so that's percussion and drums. So as we're using the triggers to control this drum kit, we're going to select MIDI channel 10. We'll make sure the track is then armed with this red R, and we can use those triggers to play these samples. So if I want to control a pitched instrument with singing, we can select a separate track. So I've just got a synth here, um, I've got Alchemy set up. And again, in the track section, we can select Doubler 2 from the MIDI in port. And now in the MIDI in channel section, we can select channel 1 as we're going to be singing and controlling this with the pitch side of Doubler. So before singing with this, I'm going to go to Doubler 2 and check that I'm in a key. So it's really important when you're singing to make sure you're in, you're in the right key for your idea. And we have a few different ways to do this. So we have auto key detect, or there's also the key tab. But we have an in-depth video uh, on our Learn Doubler page that um, shows you how to find the best key for your idea. But I'm just going to select C major for this. And back in Logic, we can select the R here to make sure the track is armed. And I can now sing a melody to hear that back. It's that synth. Da, 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 da. For both the pitch and the triggers, once the track is armed, when you hit record in Logic, it will record all that MIDI information that we're singing or triggering using Doubler. Da, 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 da. So this is how you can record live with Doubler, but you can also use the MIDI Capture plugin to record your ideas in Logic as well. So to add the MIDI Capture plugin, we can create a new software instrument track, head to the plugin selection list, go to AU Instruments, not clear, and there you'll see Doubler MIDI Capture. So the Doubler MIDI Capture plugin works by reflecting any settings you have in the Doubler app, but it will record your ideas directly as a MIDI clip in this plugin. The main advantage of using MIDI Capture is that it applies a cleaning algorithm to your recording, meaning it will get rid of any unwanted or accidental notes whilst you are singing, and it will save some time cleaning up the MIDI information like you might have done if you recorded live directly into Logic. So to record using MIDI Capture, you can simply hit the spacebar and sing your melodies you usually would. 
and we can still hear the the track that we want um, so let's go back to the synth and if I sing into the mic duh, 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 duh. so I can still hear that live but when I hit spacebar I'm not going to be recording a clip here but we'll see the clip being recorded into MIDI capture duh, 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 duh. so when I hit space again you can see we now have our MIDI clip, the cleaning algorithm is applied, and I can click and drag this anywhere I like. So let's put it on this synth track. But likewise, if I had any other track, you can click and drag that wherever you like. So that's how you can record live into Logic and using MIDI capture. But now let's take a look at how to use the control dials in Doubler. So in Doubler, you'll see four dials on the right hand side of the play tab. And these are the dials E, R, U, and M, meaning the envelope of your voice. Now what you can do is map any of these dials to any MIDI mappable parameter within Logic. So for example, we could use an R vowel to control a filter cutoff on the synth. So to do that, let's go over to Logic and we'll open up Alchemy here. And we want to control this cutoff here on our synth. So to do that, first move the parameter that you want to control and then head over to Control Services and select a Learn Assignment for Cutoff and you'll see the shortcut for that is Command and L. Now once we're in there, we can head back to Doubler, go to the Assign tab, and you'll see a Map button next to each of those dials. So let's map an R vowel to the filter cutoff. So once that's done, in Logic you'll see in the Controller Assignments window that this is mapped. We can exit this, and now when I move from an E to an R, you'll see that this dial moves with it. E -I 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 -I. So that's how to get started using Doubler with Logic Pro, but make sure to check out our other set of guides and tutorials to go in depth with each part of Doubler.